A new twist on French onion soup, my onion soup in a pumpkin bowl uses caramelized onions and blue cheese melted into the soup rather than being on top. Serving it in a hollowed out pumpkin, the soup picks up the subtle flavor of the pumpkin bowl. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as we can, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration is all about soup. We are making my favorite onion soup in a pumpkin bowl. So let's get started. Everyone loves French onion soup and what's not to love. It's rich and it has that gloppy, delicious cheese and the crouton underneath, but sometimes it's a bit much. So I've got a little twist on it for you today. I have here, uh, nice five quart Dutch oven, which is about five liters. And I'm heating it up so it's nice and warm. To that, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We're just really coating the bottom. That's good. Onion soup is, of course, we need onions. I have here in my bowl four pounds of onions. I have white onions today, and I just chop them up roughly into pieces about that size. Nothing fancy, nothing super pretty or delicate, just a rough chop. Now, I'm using white onions. You can use white, you can use yellow. I would stay away from red onions or medallions because they're gonna make your soup very sweet. Right into the bowl. Love that sound. To this, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And then a pinch of sugar, plain sugar. What is that going to do? That's going to help all of these onions start to release their liquid and caramelize. Let's give it a quick stir, just to get that salt and pepper around. Now, we're gonna have to let these caramelize on a medium low heat, uh, maybe medium heat. It's gonna take at least 30 minutes. Now, the darker you cook your onions, the darker your soup will be. So if you don't like darkly, very dark onions, don't cook it that long, but I would go at least 30 minutes. It'll give them a nice color. Now I'm not gonna make you wait. I have another batch that I started. So let me flip these. I'm gonna put these back here. Bring this guy. All right, now these have been going on the back here for a good half an hour, maybe a little longer. I started out like on a medium low heat and then turned a little down. Let's see how they look. Oh, ooh, lovely. That is how I like my onions. Nice and dark, just like that. Now, we're gonna add some other ingredients. The first thing I'm gonna add is some red wine. I have four ounces, which is 118 mils. You can use red wine or you can use beer. You can leave it out altogether, but I really prefer it with a little something in it. Right in. Next is, I have beef stock. This is five cups or one and a quarter liters. 
delicious. Smells wonderful already. One more ingredient. I have some fresh thyme here. Now what I did was I took some fresh thyme sprigs and I tied it with a little piece of string. This is called a bouquet garni. You could do this when you're using a lot of different herbs. You tie it together like this. And what this is going to do is it will keep it together and it'll help me find it when the soup is ready. So that goes in. I'll just give it a little stir. Now we're going to let this come up to a boil. And then we're going to reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for a good 30 minutes. Your onion soup timer is done. Wow, it's been 30 minutes already. All righty, let's take a look and see how the soup is doing. Ooh, look at that. Let me turn it off. Let's give it a little stir. Mmm. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this is onion soup. A little twist. I'm going to be adding some blue cheese to this. I have eight ounces, uh, which is 225 grams. Uh, blue cheese. This is just regular blue cheese. It's Danish blue that I got. You can use whatever kind you like. You can use Stilton, you can use Gorgonzola, whatever you like. This is going to go right in. We're going to give it a stir and just the residual heat in the pot is going to just melt this cheese. While that's melting, let's talk about how we're going to serve it. I told you in the beginning, it's served in a pumpkin bowl, and that is exactly what I have here. A little mini pumpkin, just cut off the top, hollowed it out like you would for a jack-o'-lantern, but I didn't cut a face in it, obviously. But let's say you don't like pumpkin or you can't get mini pumpkins like this. It's another option that I've done too. This is an acorn squash. And you can pretty much get these year round. They're very similar to pumpkins. And again, you just whack the top off, hollow it out, and you can use it as a bowl. Now for either one of these, but especially for the acorn squash, after you've eaten your soup, don't throw it out. You put it in the fridge, and then when you're ready, you cut it up after a couple days, and you roast it, and it'll have all that onion flavor in it. It's delicious. That could be another episode though. All right, this is melty melty pretty quickly now. Mm. Few chunks and that's okay. They'll continue to melt. Let's serve this, do the tasting in my pumpkin bowl. Now when I'm serving this for guests, I have them all laid out on the table for a few minutes before the guests sit down. So the hot soup starts to cook the inside of the pumpkin. Delicious. Now let's see if I can do it without spilling. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Now, just for a tiny bit more blue cheese, I'm just going to sprinkle some up on top. Just so we know what it is. Now let's give it a little taste. Very, very hot. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. I make this every year for Halloween, and this is just a great tradition. It really brings me to autumn, brings me to Halloween. It's warming and soothing. The onion soup is so intense because we cook them dark. The cheese gives it a tang and a great bite. Now, if you want to go a step further, you could throw in some arugula right at the end or watercress, and that would give it another layer of flavor. Deliciousness all around. Now, as always, a little sip of vino. 
Mm. As always, we are gonna have the recipe and instructions up in the video description on YouTube and on our website. And remember, we you are all invited on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for our basic skills or cocktail episodes. So until next time, you're all gonna come over and come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers. <laughs>